family. Thought I'd better continue quickly with phase two, unplugging from the Matrix series that I'm making. Before I start, let me send the abundance of love from myself to wherever you are and whoever you are. So phase one I covered that we need to free ourselves from attaching to external needs to bring us internal peace. And if you are stuck in a state of survival which is affecting your internal peace, you need to navigate that. You need to inner engineer to find some peace with your situation, to elevate yourself and your vibration so as you can start building the world you want instead of being caught in the cycle of working to get money and then using that money to try and make yourself feel good. This is always just going to dig us deeper into the matrix. And the other factor was that if you have excess money and you don't know what to do with it and you're trying to find peace by buying things from the economy, we need to reset that. And to do that, we have to stabilize the body, stabilize the, the, the hormonal impulses that we have for junk foods etc stabilize the mind and its call for dopamine from the smartphone and the movies or whatever else that you're indulging in that is externalizing seeking peace by trying to get pleasure from outside which disrupts the mind and makes it uncomfortable so what's phase two well if you're passing through phase one, take some time. This is not happening overnight or after a week. But once you pass through then, you start to reach that point where your body is starting to be your own again. Your body is not belonging to consumerism. It's not belonging to companies who have programmed it to make you buy their products. It's not belonging to the addictive nature of things of the world, ultimately. Then you start to resonate that joy from within. But here then comes a very simplistic, important tool that will wreck the rest of your journey. And that is to work out your state with attachment and formation of the mental identity around the records that you keep, the memories that you make and the attachment to them. And this is so important because you cannot stay free in your peace you cannot stay free, separated from the need to grab at external things for your peace if you don't deal with this. And it's a simple, small step, but it's also extremely difficult, beyond difficult for human beings to do, it would seem. Because it requires surrendering all of the things that you have built up yourself to be with inside your mind ultimately surrendering not necessarily the things you've built yourself up to be but you're grabbing you're clinging to that your attachment to that as an identity so we must understand that if we cling we reduce our vibration what will happen very often the freedom that is found by unplugging from the matrix is the return to the state of eden consciousness it's the return to the state away from the clinging to the bite of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. This is the language of old that they use to determine this. Plugged into the matrix is the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Unplugged is back into Eden consciousness. In Eden consciousness, you understand your nature, your freedom. You understand the peace within you. In the other state of consciousness, you will cling. And the way to witness this is very easy in the spiritual awakening, the truth uh, movement on the planet of people unplugging from the matrix. I said in the last video, those who have not done the work to realize will cling to the identity that they are forming as someone who is awakened. And that clinging will make them aggressive. It will make them unloving. It will make them egoic. They will look down on other people and call them sheeple. They will look down on them and call them stupid. They will basically feed back into the matrix state because they are blaming the wrong avenue because they haven't gained the vitality, as I said in the first video, to understand what is going on. 
And because they haven't gained the vitality, because they didn't do the work at the early stages to stabilize and free themselves, the mind clings to whatever information it gets and forms a new character. And some of these characters can be unbelievably difficult to escape from. You will get people who gain sacred knowledge, spiritual knowledge, even people in service, and they will cling to this character and form a new mental identity of I have sacred knowledge, I'm spiritually awakened, I'm more awake than you are, I'm helping more people than you, which is something I passed through in Tanzania instead of acknowledging that spirit was the one doing everything and I was just a vessel that it had blessed with that purpose. I, as the human speaking to you, I let go of this attachment that I once held onto that I am John, an Englishman, let's put it that way. And in that empty vessel, that state of pure attention, spirit came. When unplugged from the matrix, I entered the real world. In the matrix, you are playing out the program of the carnality. Outside of the matrix, you are in the real world. And in the real world, in the consciousness of Eden, you are playing out the will of spirit, not the will of the machine world, not the will of the... Uh, the the engineered aspect of the mind which is seeking its self-gain and preservation. You are moving in the ever-present dance of nature. You are not a separated entity anymore, plugged into this unconscious state inside the matrix. And so even people will take this knowledge, spiritual, and they'll cling to it and make a new character. And the clinging creates contraction, creates tension and they are not they are maybe intellectually understanding some things but they are not unplugged from the matrix and you will see it they will look down on people whatever they have mastered whatever step they've taken to master to try and get out of the matrix they will use that to elevate themselves as a character over the other the man who is celibate will mock the non-celibate that person is plugged into the matrix the man who is riding the bicycle because he's an environmentalist now instead of driving the sports car will look down and bring himself up whilst he does it. This is the evidence. The one who thinks that they can see that the government has deceived people will use that not to lovingly say I'm concerned that you've been deceived but they will mock the people. You are stupid, etc, etc. I'm better than you is the actual motivation at that point. It's not to help. It's not to wake people up. It's because they've lost the unplugged state. They've fallen back into the plugged in state in that tension where you can't feel the truth of the spirit. You can't feel the state of pure retention. And the clinging and forming of a new mental identity as I'm more awakened than you. I'm more spiritual than you. I'm more aware than you has created another program in the matrix to enter back into that lower frequency, that lower vibration of anger and so on and so forth. Because the only liberation, the only freedom from the matrix is to enter the higher state of vibration of the unconditional love. That is the awakened unplugged state. And if you don't learn to not cling to the things that you learn and that you do, that spirit allows for in your life, and cling and make a mental character from it whatever it is if you don't learn not to cling and make the mental character the journey is over you're going straight back into that matrix and the rest of it will never be something that you can participate in you might be able to intellectually agree you might be able to intellectually say hey with my intelligence i can say that it's like this and it's like that and so on and so forth but you will witness as well that the blame game starts from those people and it's always a blame game of separation. The problem is you. The problem is that person because they're not as aware as me. The problem is that person because they disagree with me. The problem is the government. The problem is this person here. And later in this series, you'll understand why this is nonsense. Because when you go into blaming the separation aspect, when you go into blaming others for the issues that are going on, and you yourself are still contracted with inside clinging to a mental identity, with inside the plugged in state to the matrix, 
then you are playing the same significant role in holding up the problems of the matrix as the people that you are blaming. The important factor that I want to get through on this phase two is this. When you unplug from the matrix, the identity that you had within there, the identity of even self, will fade away. It will fall like a, like a mist. It's not that you can do anything to get rid of it because you trying to do something to get rid of it would be you engaging the identity to try and make the identity go away. You can't. And so the, the identity must fade like a mist as you unplug and you awaken and you see and you become a state of pure attention. You become surrendered to the unplugged state, the state of Eden consciousness. You become surrendered to there. When you become surrendered to there, you will be able to see reality and reality will come to you and there'll be no refraction. There's no character to grab it and to try and interpret it and control it. The character will not engage like that. And what will happen is you will just allow it to come and you will feel the true identity of who you are, the stillness that grew you from child to man and grows a tree from sapling to mighty tree you will fall back to that stillness and that stillness is the unplugged state from the matrix and that stillness will show you what you are here to do as your very best version of yourself. It won't show you based on self gain, it won't show you based on trying to get things to reinforce your character, it won't ask you to look down on other people, it will show you from a state of love for the sake of love, pure unconditional love. Not that John is loving something, not that you as a character will become an unconditionally loving character, because you can't. The character always has conditions, because the character is limited and separated. But when you become a character-free vessel, unplugged from the matrix, the character is the plugged-in state, and you come to that position, the energy of love, the pure energy of love, will rise through you and it will have no conditions. And that love will operate through your intelligence to build the better world away from the entanglement of this matrix <coughs> of pain and suffering that we have managed to create over these years. And the reason that we create the wrong matrix is always because people grab the records that they are keeping as they go through life and form this inward character around it and that character separates them from that channel of love energy which ultimately you are when you are unplugged from the matrix and it places conditions upon it and refracts it and moves it in bad directions and so you must make this step and it is the biggest and most difficult thing for humans to do but this step must occur it must occur. You can no longer, if you want to unplug from this matrix, once your body is settled and stabilized and the programs are not trying to pull you back to your addictions, no matter the character you're forming, no matter the information you're forming it around sacred knowledge, spirituality, aid worker as I did, <coughs> the formation of the character, the clinging to it, will lower your vibration and put you straight back in with everybody else in the matrix. Because you clung to separation. You clung from separation from being unplugged. You plugged yourself back in by the very notion that you decided to cling to the records of the things that were happening to you. And you can unplug. Spirit can move. That unconditional loving energy can come through you and operate as a force without conditions of the mind and the character within there dealing with it and controlling it. And you can reform a character and go back and plug yourself back into the matrix. You can do that. You have to be surrendered. You have to stay away from these plugs. You have to not reconnect yourself. And you can only do that by staying as surrendered as you possibly can in all of your motives and witnessing and constantly, constantly ensuring that you are never becoming the mind. And you are always operating from the very source of the mind. Because the source of the mind is you unplugged. 
the mind is you plugged in. And that's phase two. And there are many ways to do it. But one beautiful way, if you don't have any spontaneous ego death in a long water fast or something, which is kind of what happened to, to myself at one point where I had this woof moment and realized what was going on a little bit. And I didn't fully get there in that water fast, but I at least let go of the inner mental character and this updraft of love hit me. If you're not there, you can, you can hold on to that notion. Am I right now the mind or the source of the mind? And keep that with you, keep that inquiry with you throughout the day. And when you realize that, you will realize that being unplugged from the matrix is exactly the same as being born again and walking in the spirit. This is exactly what it is, but many don't see it. It's being awakened is the same thing. Being surrendered is the same thing. So no matter what you do right now, the most important task is never researching. If you've got something to do, if you're sick and your mind has a project to get rid of your pain, your mind should be doing that. That's okay. If your children need food and your mind has a project to deal with that, it should be okay. If your living circumstances hell and you need to, your mind needs to get out of that, that's okay. But you need to reconnect to the presence at some point in your day. And when you come back to that presence and, and you reach back into it, you you... You need to keep witnessing what character, if any, have I been forming here. And you need to keep pulling yourself back and making sure that you're standing in that state of pure attention. Standing within the, standing within the, staying unplugged, staying unplugged. If you're researching spiritual information online, this and this and this and this, and you're forming this mental character, you show me a person who clings to that character, who is unconditionally loving, which all of that information points you towards being. And they are not. Because they have failed to do this one phase, which is very difficult, but also very simple when you look at it. That's phase two. To stay unplugged. Do your level best to not form a mental character because when you do, you put another plug in the body, like on the matrix. Oh, I'm now, I'm more aware than you, one plug. I eat healthier than you, one plug. I'm, more, I'm morally superior to you because I'm, vi one plug. Bit by bit, as soon as you keep constructing a character, the unconditional loving state of being unplugged from the matrix contracts in, and before you know it, you've got this contracted smaller character to defend and attack from and you're back back in that matrix of suffering that all of us are trying to put an end to and see an end to but we can't do it but unconditional love working through our human bodies that keeps records and memories and learns from it as it happens can as long as we never cling to any of those records memories and things that we learn and create a character in our mind I'll do phase three soon. God bless, guys. Bye.